Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our subject, the creative uh, nonfiction class. Okay. So, hi there. I am Mr. Richard Castillas Kakayan, your teacher in creative nonfiction subject or creative writing. So, it is fantastic to let you learn this subject this second semester. Let's learn together. Okay, what is the aim and mission of our school? So North East Luzon Adventist College is a Christ-centered training institution that provides a well-balanced Christian education to ensure its graduates to succeed in life. This school aims to pursue higher education programs anchored on desirable core values and unwavering faith in God. The, our vision is our passion for quality and excellence, recognize professional leadership in the education industry in our course description. So this subject or this course aims to develop practical and creative skills in reading and writing, introduce students to the fundamental techniques of writing fiction, poetry, and drama, and discuss the use of such techniques by well-known authors in a variety of genres. Each class will be developed with examination of techniques and to workshop students draft toward enrichment of their manuscripts. Students as well learn how to combine inspiration and revision and to develop a sense of form. So the scope, so we have also this, what we call MELTS or most essential learning competencies. So we have this for quarter one, week one to two, differentiate imaginative writing from among other forms of writing. For week three and four, value fillings, imagery, and other elements of creative writing. For week five, identify the various elements, techniques, literary devices, and conventions in poetry. And for quarter two, week one to three, you need to write a short poem applying the various elements, techniques, and literary devices. And for week four to five, identify the various element techniques and literary de device infection. And for quarter three, week one to three, write journal entry entries and other short exercises exploring key elements of fiction. And for week four and five, explain the biographical, linguistic, and social cultural context and discuss how they enhance the text meaning and the reader's understanding. For quarter four, week one to three, we have to explore different staging modalities vis-a-vis -vis envisioning the script. And for quarter four, week four to five, write short exercises involving character, dialogue, plot, and other elements of drama. Moving on. So how will I rate you? So it's still here, written works, 25%, which includes activities in learner's guide and LMS, 50% for your performance tasks, which includes the portfolio and recorded video audio. We have also the quarterly assessment, 25%, prelim, midterm, pre-final, final examination. And if you're asking, so this will serve as well as your summative quizzes and tests. So how will I teach you? We have the LMS or the learning management system. So all required tasks in our subjects downloaded in this app and all assigned activities are to be given every Monday of the week, or it depends. Okay, we have also the module. It should be with your textbook. Yes, because really your textbook is a good way or a good partner in accomplishing the, the task that I'll be giving you. We have also the Zoom. This mode of learning will be at the set date given with the principal. So please get updated and always keep in touch. So CNF, so CNF, it is where human voices speak for themselves. So according to our book, so creative nonfiction, and that is ba based from Miss Isbetlana Alekshevitz, that where human voices speak for themselves. Because sometimes even us don't want to speak what is inside of us. So CNF will do the thing for us, okay? And I will assure you that, of course. So unit one are creative nonfiction and other literary genres. So according to Svetlana Alekshevich, so the Bel Belarusian investigative journalist and author who won the prestigious prize in 2015 
and was celebrated because she pens creative nonfiction. She was also awarded the 2015 Nobel Prize in Literature for her polyphonic writings, a monument to suffering and courage in our time. So really she is a, a writer of our time and she picked out the CNF, like what I've said, where human voices speak for themselves. So she coined that word wherein we could use CNF for that particular thing to speak for us. Okay, what is your role as creative writers since we are talking about creative nonfiction and being, create, being a creative writer? So what is our role? Number one is to give voice to the voiceless, okay? Then the second one is to appreciate CNF or creative nonfiction as part of regional literature and in turn be one of those artists who will weave the history of generations through creative writing. So let's now proceed to module one. I think I'm fast, but we should be like that. So module one is fiction. So for traditional education, so we have what we call yeah, the fiction and the nonfiction. For fiction calls for imaginative thinking. So it's a product of our imagination. While nonfiction, it is based on historical facts and empirical evidences. So of course, we talked about, when we say nonfiction, from the word non, it's not, okay? And the fiction means imaginative, so not imagined or not really, uh, not being, yeah, yeah, not, not imagined by someone else, but it is based on the re real things or reality. Okay, I hope that we get that, the difference between fiction and nonfiction. And according to the vision as well, we have the prose and poetry, okay? So the only thing here is how the texts are arranged. If you have any question about this, about the division, so you can also have your individual study of what is prose and poetry, okay? And what is fiction? So these are short stories, novels, poems, plays. Okay, these are example of fiction. Example, we have the Donald's Halls Without. So his collection of poems about the death of his wife, Jane Kenyon. So what's the question here? Is it nonfiction or poetry section? So where can we place this particular write-up or this particular collection of poems by Donald Hall. So is it nonfiction or poetry section? Okay, so that's a big question for us to answer. We have also Prof. Richard Haydarian, which, which had a book entitled Asia's New Battlefield. And this book is placed with Star Wars book. So what's the big issue here? Because Asia's New Battlefield talks about South, South China Sea and East China Sea disputes. So, and this is not a science fiction book. Okay, that's why the rationale is, this happens because many writers experiment and innovate their forms and style of writing. Okay, so Asia's New Battlefield is not a science fiction book. We're in when Prof. Richard Haydarian visited uh, a bookstore, so they place his book beside the Star Wars book. And the, uh, the issue there is Asia's New Battlefield is not a science fiction. Okay. So, Anne Carson's also verse novel. So we have the autobiography of Fred. Okay, so this is a poem that can be a novel length. We have also Ernest Hemingway, famous piece for sale, baby shoes never worn. So this is debatable either a short 
short story or novel. I think we have also Dr. Jose Delisay. So he had observed that the word fictionist is something we Filipinos use almost ex exclusively. A long hand, we probably invented the word. So according to Dr. Jose Delisay, we invented the word fictionist. Okay, and he also elaborated that we are not a novel, novel writing people. So what do you think? Okay, and according to H. Thomas Wilhorn, so we have very, uh, we have many different names. So he, he is an, uh, the author of Writing Genre Fiction, A Guide to the Craft, Categorized Works of Fiction, and According to Number of Words Used. Okay, so what will be the category according to him? So these are the category for novel. So it consists of 50,000 words, more around 170 pages. So that's a novel. For novella, it's 17,500 words, not more than 50,000 words, or 60 to 170 pages. For novelette, we have 7,500 words, not more than more than 17,500 words or 25 to 60 pages. We have also short story. So approximately 2,000 words, not more than 7,500 words or five to 25 pages. We have also flash fiction. So not more than 2,000 words and around five pages. So these are the categories being given by H. Thomas Wilhorn. Okay, the novel, novella, novelette, short story, and flash fiction. And according to James Thomas, so there are two characteristics of flash fiction. The number one is the text should be tailored to fit two pages of a literary digest, like the Reader's Digest or any reading material as it is published. We have also the Modern Teacher. So these are the digest books. Second one is story should not have more than 150 words. Okay, so those are the two characteristics of flash fiction being enumerated by Mr. James Thomas. Okay, how about short story, especially for children? So word count similar to flash fiction. For a would-be children's book, so there is a particular length. It has to fit 14 to 36 page standard book with full illustrations. When you say full illustrations with drawings, caricatures, and any that would motivate the children to read the story or short story, storybook. Okay, I am inviting you once again. Now our next topic will be elements of fiction and the free tags for me. So thank you so much for giving me your time and I hope that we have learned something this day. And I'm inviting you once again for our next, for our next topic, elements of fiction and free tags I hope that I have given you a simple background or context of what we're going to study this second semester. And congratulations for reaching this far of your learning activity.